Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another full case break of 2019 Topps Allen and Ginter Baseball. Pick your team number four. There will be a recap in a separate video, so uh, if you don't want to watch this hour-long video, then you can definitely skip ahead to the other one. But then you'll miss all the inside jokes. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Pick your team four. Brand new Allen and Ginter baseball. Look at that, Jordan with eight last spot mojo stars next to his name. Octuple last spot mojo. And there's everyone else. Daniel who bought the non-baseball spot as well. A lot of fun stuff in there. All right. Let's pop this case open. Let's see what we got. We will have Nick's help in just a little bit. So this camera right here that you see right here, that's where Nick will be helping us rip these packs. We can get through these a little bit more quickly. If I do this solo, it adds like another 30, 40 minutes to the break. But thankfully, we have a little help today on an extremely busy new release day. We've got Optic Baseball, too. All right, so let's set, you'll see these on camera right here. So there's four, there's eight, and there's 12 right here, and we'll start with this one first. There are about three things per box. All right, see you, yeah, yeah. We'll see you later tonight for the optic. Gilo, you're in Ginter. Are you in this one? You are. He has the Royal. Who else is here? Let's do a quick roll call. Who's here for Ginter? Pick your team four. You have the gold uh, border hot box already. There you go. Jordan's here. He's got a bunch of teams in this one. So, rip it or keep it. That's that's the answer. That's the question of the day. We've pulled. There's a, usually a couple rip cards, at least two, I think, rip cards per case. Um, no one has opted to rip the card live. No one has gave me that authorization yet. Will you be the first, Jordan, if you get one? You've got a lot, you've got a lot of opportunities. Everyone wants to keep it. Depends on who it is, says Jordan. The, uh, the temptation, uh, the temptation to to rip it for me, I think would be far too, far too great. Box number one, pick your team four. Good luck, everybody. And all of these gold border ones will ship. A lot of interesting stuff in this skinter, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks for joining us and breaking with us here at our new shop in Hermosa Beach. Gilo is asking what my bold prediction for the trade deadline. I'm not sure. Trade line deadline's kind of weird this year because we don't have a waiver trade deadline. It's just uh, everything. There's no Syndergaard, Mets, Jersey Joe P with that. He's got both New York teams. Um, 
there's only one uh, trade deadline now. So there's no you, there's no waiver trade deadline at the end of August. Look at this mini printing plate, Matt Chapman in the frame, one of one. That goes to Walter and the A's. Walter, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. So I don't know what's gonna happen. A lot of lot of teams who are in the wild card hunt. Maybe two, maybe not division hunt. I think two sold out. We just gotta fill the team right now. There you go. Should be able to. We might be able to squeeze that in tonight, folks. People want it. So that's what makes it tough, Gilo. Uh, the, uh, a lot of teams who are still thinking they they could be in contention because of the wild card spots. I'm on camera. Yes, you are still on camera. And we got Belly, Cody Bellinger. Well, I did speaking to. Uh, I know Gilo's a Royals fan. Gabe, I did hear a rumor that the Dodgers may be looking at Whit Merrifield on your Royals. Dodgers looking for maybe a little depth at second base, especially since Chris Taylor broke his hand. He'll be out for a little bit. Maybe a month and a half or so at least. So that's a possibility. I don't know. Well, let me know who your team is, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what trade moves you think your team's going to make. Are they buyers? They Are they sellers? Can we turn her voice off? I was scared of that panel. I didn't want to touch it <laughs> to figure Wait, it out. It's intimidating? Yeah. There's yeah. I don't even know where it is. It's in the front door. Oh, no. It's in the, not this room, but the next, the next room, room over. Yeah. Too many rooms in this room. I don't know. You can get lost in here. My Dodgers also looking for bullpen help. Kenley Jansen kind of melted down last night, but he was also kind of talking about how he has kind of a weird ankle issue, so he's got to be healthy for the playoffs. So Dodgers might address some some uh, bullpen issues, middle relief issues that they're having. Uh, that uh, Pedro Martinez goes to Walter and the Red Sox. Eric Bailey says Indians have admitted they're giving up on the season. Oh, interesting. Oh, there, there could be a Brad Hand could be on the move. Dodgers could use a Brad Hand. I thought they were like a lot of teams could use a Trevor. Wild card. Yeah, they're close they to the done? wild card though. Why did they say say that they're done? Maybe they want to start a rebuild. Let's go for my Angels. We're gonna make the second wild card and win the World Series. Wow, freeway series for the World Series. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, that that'd be good for our store. For our shop. And the Dodgers will lose again because Lakers. Oh, I guess Lakers, Clippers. Because Dodgers. Because the Angels will let Tyler Skaggs mode go. Yeah. Unbelievable. Dodgers will lose another one. Yeah. Just like, like the Buffalo Bills. Astros had Hurricane Mojo. Yeah. That that was the hurricane year. Boston had. And then the Red Sox were just Boston flat out beat the Dodgers. <laughs> um. Yeah, it, the Dodgers. If they lose another one. It'll be like the modern-day Buffalo Bills. Like Marv Levy and Jim Kelly. Dave Roberts, Cody Bellinger. So sometimes the backs of these minis, these will all ship, might be numbered. Yeah, sports but in L.A. is really good right yeah, now. Yeah, sports in L.A. is crazy. And here's the box won. topper from box one. Oh, he's good. Yeah, Gilo's saying there will be a high price for Whit Merrifield. There's Bryce Harper. Yeah, I don't know if the Dodgers really want to move a lot of big assets for Whit Merrifield. Um, Here you go. This one's oh. done. Sorry, I'd, yeah, I just put that in the spot right then. On the optic. Oh, we'll save this for the end. All right, Don saying Pirates will give up on Philippe. We'll probably give up Philippe Vasquez. Dodgers might go for that. Yeah, I wonder who else the Indians are going to move. Well, they're not going to move guys like this. Francisco Lindor. Yeah, they're, they're going to move their pitchers. They'll probably try to move 
uh, Bauer. They'll try to move. I mean, they might even try to move Kluber. And that's a nice relic right there. There you go. Motocross competitor and a stunt performer. He's got like these non baseball crazy, spots. Crazy things in the backyard. Like, you ever seen Rob Deirdrex's MTV no. show? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a huge skateboarding park indoors. Oh. I said, I said, why did they do that? Nobody responded. Ghost, spider ghost. The ghost of the spider that we murdered. Jill, you think the Dodgers will do it this year? I don't know. It's, baseball's so weird. Playoffs are just, are just a real crap shoot sometimes. And there's the autograph. It's Rick and Keel. Yeah, look at that, Rick and Keel. That's for Attila and the Cardinals. So Grego's saying Travis Pastrana is our our generation's evil Knievel. All right. Has he? I, I want to see him jump over the Grand Canyon. He's even better than Evil Knievel. No. Really? Yeah. Evil Knievel's a squirrel. He actually tried NASCAR, Joey. He, he drove NASCAR. Pastrana? I want to see him jump over the fountains did, at Caesar's Palace. Well, I'm I asked, I said, why did it ring? And then it was unlocked. So maybe somebody also did. How do we turn that off? Just... Yeah, our cases are missing out. I know. We just went from optic to no, no optic. To no optic. All right, I'll see you guys. See ya. All right, see ya. Yeah, Evil Knievel's a scrub compared to Travis. Wow. I want to see him jump over a Caesar's Palace wow. fountain. Yeah. He faked his tricks. He's wow. Like, Evil Knievel? Yeah. He's unmasked? Like, he's like David Blaine. <laughs> he had his own top set. How many people had their own top set? Uh, Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah, Santa Claus. The car. Salvador Perez. Evil had an entire goes set. Goes to... I remember seeing Santa uh, Claus. Goes to Gilo. got his I remember Santa Claus sets on Tops.com. And I remember them seeing on sale, too. Yeah. <laughs> I sold, I don't know, how many thousands of those. How did you get the Santa Claus relics? That's crazy. From the North Pole? I didn't know he actually. From the North Pole? From North, North Pole? Yeah, but did he donate it or did he auction it off? Is he in troubling times? Well, it was from Santa's. You in know there's more than one Santa. What? What? No, not. Just, just ruined a bunch of children's dreams. <laughs> <laughs> what, there's like a London, England oh, Santa. Oh, the, it's like it's like Blue Man Group. There's like under <laughs> there's like understudies, Santa understudies, and then like real Blue real Santa. Yeah. And Santa understudies who are at the malls. <laughs> Using slave elf labor. <laughs> I know, of course. Elves. Poor elves. I don't think they even get health care. Yeah, they get not. no health care at all. Zero health care. And here's the next box. The AL is... I thought the NL is way weak. The AL is way better than the NL this year, I thought. Standings-wise. But... Like, if the Angels were in the NL, they'd be second in wild card. But I think they would be, yeah. They're like four and a half games back now. Angels have been on a little bit of a streak. Yeah, they're five in a row. They're going to win tonight, so six in a row. And they swept the Rangers, and they've won two I think straight I took against the, the Astros. I think I took the Astros. Oh, no, I didn't. You can't take that. They're on the, they're on the, yeah. they're on the Skaggs. Skaggs 45 tour. Yeah. You 
hitting it in my face. Did Optic pick your team two random sell up? Let's see. Eight left. So that'll probably be the last break if it sold out. There's Buster Posey, Buster Posey relic for the Gigantes. That'll so be for Jordan Hope. Other than Optic, you have to sell it out. Otherwise, Optic will be the last break of the night, folks. So whatever you choose could be Optic. Listen to the Fanatics. Yeah, what's that? What's that? Where did they get this food? Jason, where did you get this food? Bossman doesn't know what he's talking about in that yeah, department. Yeah, but he just meant like department. mall Santas and stuff. Yeah, they probably I think, just got it from a mall Santa. Like event worn? Yeah. It's a it's freaking a cheap tops. <laughs> yeah, freaking tops going event worn Santa stuff instead of getting the real thing from the real Santa. Figures. Come on. Come on, tops. How can you do us like that? I don't know. Excuse that air conditioning. I'm like, I feel like I'm in Egypt. <laughs> I said it at 70, and it's still at 70. We gotta get those new lights, I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's that orange light or whatever. Yeah, oh no, I mean, whatever link you sent that, 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 that looked great. I know, but like. I think that's less heat coming off yeah. the lamp. True. But I think it's just that new bulb that we had in there. There's Ezekiel Elliott. <laughs> just kidding, it's Graham Elliott. I don't know who Graham Elliott is. He's, a food, he's on food, t food Network. Yeah. All right, doesn't he do chopped? No, oh. not chopped. That's the other guy with glasses. <laughs> Who used to do like Iron Chef? Yeah, it's a great show. Then there's this show called The Great British. Oh, Baking. Baking War. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a pretty and good show. Ooh, red ink autograph of somebody. Yeah, yeah. Are you doing the trifecta tonight? No. What's tonight? I know that's right, Jordan. I, yeah, I smelled some food and I like just disappeared from the room. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the yeah. red ink autograph is. I got a boring salad today, so everyone else's food seems more interesting. Jack Flaherty, one out of ten. Did you get the Ginter case yet? Red ink autograph, Cardinals Attila. With the Redbirds. I haven't seen one yet, but apparently some of these will actually say that you can, you can plant these. Oh, that's what that extra case was. I see. Okay. That's the extra case I saw for eBay. What's that? Nothing. The Ginter case was for eBay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the extra one I saw. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got nervous that. <laughs> we get sold too much Ginter. <laughs> yeah. To sell them too quick. Just got caught up. Yeah, I'm bad at math. I think you need to go to. <laughs> Just go to go back to math school. Math school. So nothing like hand numbered but there. But like, yeah, some of some I I think some of those plant those flower cards you can actually plant because they'll be on biodegradable paper and they and they have the seeds inside, so you can plant it into the ground. And then it'll naturally biodegrade and then it'll the seeds will be out there and then you can. Yeah, I've put, been putting all of these. Oh, did I just get minis? Oh, I guess so. Focus on that food. Wow, <laughs> seriously. The smell. What's that place that's inside the 
the oh, plaza. That place is really good. It's like, like the grinds cafe. or something like that. It's like Ooh. a line. It's really good. And the guy is cool. All right, all right. That He's might... like very like what? aloha, you know. Yeah, I got you. I got you. He's cool. And then he's just like, like they sell coffee and stuff. He's like just that. like island life. He's yeah, just like awesome. chill. All right. But they're they close like I guess if you get here early now. But they close at like three I think. Island life. It's like three, we're done. No, no dinner. I wanna do that Krama God over there. Oh yeah? Just like learn like Israeli like self defense. Or kickboxing or something. There's Burton like that. Rocks. There's that elite training center. Alright. Just kick any burglars. Probably should take a shotgun class too for our shotgun here. And our pit bull. Gotta train our pit bull. What's that famous? He should have a card against her. The dog trainer guy? Alright. Who's that guy? I always forget his name. Who? He's the most famous dog trainer. Cesar? Yeah. Egg. I like Cesar. The dog whisperer? And we got Trevor Story, relic for the Rocks, Jim Bly with the Rockies. AJ Pollock back in action with the Dodgers. Is that Dodgers game still delayed, ladies and gentlemen? I know someone was saying, people were saying earlier there are some rain delays happening. got John Ginn. There you go. There he is. Poker player. Wish I was good at poker. Good enough to be a pro. That'd be, would that be fun? I'm not sure if you'd be. I feel like something that looks fun that may not actually be fun because you're just like grinding in all these tournaments and everything. So... There's the schedule right there, Gilo. Yeah, it's a good time to drop the schedule. Looks like no hand numbered. They usually have like different backs on them. What was the Skunk Works playing? That SR-71? Yeah, I think that was developed in Area 51, right? We have to pay for, the, pay for a dumpster? How much are we paying the city for a dumpster? 500 bucks. Is this like a deposit or is this like something we have to buy it? So is it ours? You need to pay monthly for service. Please. What? Well, that I, I that I get, but I don't get it. It should be taxpayer. Shouldn't that be I, included? I feel like, I feel like we can pay a monthly fee for the dumpster, but they should just give us the dumpster. Yeah, I think so too. But five 
five hundred bucks, man. The city's just, and then Edison, just taking us left and right. Edison, you have to pay like over a thousand dollars oh. deposit. Gotta give them a deposit. Wait, do we get this five hundred dollars back from the for the dumpster? I mean, I guess when you're done with the dumpster, they buy it back. Probably for they better buy it back. Dollars. Oh god, they'll probably f us there. Yeah. So we can't even take the dumpster. No, we we have to sell a lot more cases. Gonna pay. Gonna break some more optic. We're gonna pay for that dumpster. There's Nick Castellanos. That goes to the Tigers. Daniel Patera. Who also has the non-baseball spot. Oh come on. Let's get that into focus. All right, so coming up after this will be something relatively quick. It'll be an eight by 10 gold rush break, which will uh, get you spots. Spots or spot? Spots, multiple Three spots? spots? Three spots and the brand new gold rush Argonauts, which is not sold out yet. So if you look at the schedule in the chat, you can see there's an open time slot in the last hour of the broadcast. Now that could be filled by Optic 2 if you want, but if a couple other breaks fill up in that 10 o'clock LA time time slot, then we won't have time for Optic 2. So if you want Optic 2, it's got to go now. Eight spots left in the team, random. The Dylan Pentancis goes to Joe, uh, Jersey so Joe Argonaut, P. Argonaut, we have to sell the, another 8x10 and then the six spots. Gotcha. So Argonauts is a little ways away. So it's up to you folks. We do, we do have an hour, though, at the end of the night. Does this sister have a autograph in this set? Sister Mary Jo? I don't know. Remember the show Sister Sister? Sister Sister. They might bring that back. With Tia and Tamara. Tamara? That was a great show, right? Yeah. That was a good show. Yeah, solid show. I like the theme song. Sister Sister. It's a pretty sassy song. I don't know if I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know you could do the next line after that. <laughs> Break down. Break it down. They're bringing all these shows back. Football yeah, if that football mixer sells before Optic 2, yes, that, that will be the last break of the night then. That'll take up pretty much most of that last hour. Bounty Hunter, we gave away $410 last time. It's a Bounty Hunter mixer too. I'm surprised nobody wants to get in on that. Some easy money, even without autos. Um, I don't know if Jay, I don't know, we don't have Argonauts on eBay, do, do we? Uh -uh, no. no, Mike Tower. There's Jacob deGrom. That box hopper for the Mets. Next box. Slide that over. You can see the dual camera action right there. Nick Cam above our logo. Save that Odovino mini. Haven't seen the Big Hit Express yet. I think it's a band, right? Mike Tower? You should have gotten that. You're a music guy. I know. Well, now that he's mentioned it, I don't think I've really listened to them that much. I don't much. know what an Argonaut is. So I, I don't know what it is. Or no, it's a movie? I thought it was a band. Oh, maybe it's an old movie from the 60s. Shock, oh yeah. Man, Roy's Man, Roy just backseat driving. 
I'm gonna go into Rory's chat one time, just destroy him. Next release, I'm pressing the Brewers at 100 bucks. Just for that. 150 dollars. And there is a roll as Chapman. That's a Yankee relic for Jersey Joe P. All I'm seeing is 10 corners here, Rory. All I'm seeing is 10 corners. Start wearing gloves. Should we start wearing gloves, Rory? Because that helps. I mean, that's just a whole nother. I mean, we, we'd have to add the cost of latex gloves into our <laughs> We're already paying for a $500 dumpster. Come on, Hermosa Beach. This knife is so close to bending and stabbing myself. It's oh yeah? Crazy. It's a wild knife. You gotta be careful with that. You have to watch out for the the tang of the blade. For you swordsmen out there. Oh come on, Minnie. There's Andrew Ben and Tendi. I think Rory should get Man, no, we're we're just gonna, we're just gonna. Next time Rory's doing a personal box for his shop, I'm just gonna run in there and just be like, "Who's this joker? Doesn't know what he's doing." How much was that box? Well, Jasky's has it for a lot cheaper. <laughs> Scammers. Why don't we see their face? What are they trying to hide? There's the beagle. We got we got to get AJ and I don't know I don't even know who AJ Andrews is. I don't watch softball. I've been on softball. <laughs> oh, the van. College softball. I do watch College World exactly. Series, softball yeah, World Series. Good. Everyone. UCLA is always in like the final round. So. I'll tell you what, no flopping in the World Cup. Women's. Yep, ladies don't flop in the World and Cup. The softball players are pretty tough. They are. Wait, what's that, Jordan? The way you move the next box of open cards yeah, into the can. Oh, it looks like they were just flying. Yeah, welcome to Magic Breaks. There's Francisco Lindor. Magician Breaks. Magician Breaks. Like, it'd be like David Blaine. It'd be like, Jordan, look in your wallet. Open your wallet. Look behind your driver's license. There's an autograph Ginter card in there. Remember David Copperfield made the Statue of Liberty disappear? How did he do that? You remember that? That yeah, was crazy. You only have to watch from a certain angle, otherwise it won't dis <laughs> otherwise it won't disappear. It's like a green screen. Yeah. Jordan, go to your kitchen cupboard, open up the box of honey nut Cheerios, dig down to the bottom, boom. Autograph, Ginter. One of one. And then David Blaine does that face like this. Yeah, David Blaine's like, how do I do that? Have you ever seen that video? What the F, David Yeah, Blaine? that's one of my favorite. <laughs> that is so funny. What the F, David Blaine? <laughs> get out of F? Get out of her mind, David Blaine. <laughs> get out of my socks. What the What F, the F, David Blaine? David Blaine? <laughs> and then David Blaine just stares into the camera. It's just, just like... Just look up that video on YouTube. Oh, it's pretty funny. Yeah. It's like OG YouTube. Yeah. The first viral video of all time. Yeah. There's Bryce Harper, Topper. No, what the f craziest thing was. Stop I saw putting things in our bodies, David Blaine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then he makes him disappear. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh my god, I just saw my whole life. <laughs> You know what? I saw my brother in that one video, the Nerf off. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You told me about that. that we were crazy. all here together. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot. 
you were, it was like it was a recommended video and you kind of started halfway watching you're like wait a second what's my brother doing in this YouTube video Nerf Office War one of our buddies produced that if you saw that on YouTube what's going on Adam and there's multiple like there's like I don't know if they upload on different channels but the same video it's got like 10 million total views what I'm not sure if our friend is seeing any money from that because <laughs> I don't know it feels like re-uploaded by somebody it was, I think it was officially an HBO production. That's crazy. When they were trying, when HBO, for half a second, yeah, was trying to do, like, create content. Jose Barrios. I did see that, Rory. I saw him smack a double at the, towards the end of that Braves game. He's got, like, a six or seven game hitting streak. Egg. That was Peter Alonzo's home run. Jeez. Darvish had his first win at Wrigley since he's been a Cub? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. He's been pitching a lot better. But yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's see. I had Toronto. They're only he down a run. Four from the Royals. And I had Detroit. They lost today. And I'm on the Royals tonight, folks. Yeah, they're up 6-2 on the White Sox. They're favorite because they're playing the White Sox. Yeah. Angels are losing. We haven't hit him, I don't think. Who? Rodney Mullen? I don't know who that is. No. Who's Rodney Mullen, Roy? Is that the guy from Parks and Recreation? There is Michael Franco for Jim Bly and the Phillies. Gilo's thinking skateboarder, perhaps? We're going to have to pick up some skateboarder cards if he is. Sell in the store. Ah, the godfather of skateboarding. What about Tony Hawk? He's just a commercial face. Uh, oh, is that what, like, like real casuals like me are like, Tony <laughs> yeah. Hawk? Yeah. And they're like, so, no, bro. Rodney Mullen's the real Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's just um, just in for the money, money grab. Sell out, sell out. Tony Hawk's video game is so good though, <laughs> so good. Like from the '80s? No, like <laughs> no. from like the '90s and 2000s. All right, so the cool kids know about Rodney Mullen is what Matthew and Rory are saying. There's Steve Carlton for the Phillies. Another fight and fill for Jim Bly. Any skateboarder I've seen around here never lands a trick. No skateboarder. No, no has skateboarder. Ever you have Venice. to go, you have to go to the skate park in Venice Beach. I've been there too, and it's just a bunch of tourists. I feel like tourists. That's true. It is. They like rent skateboards and, and rent time at like Muscle Beach. Yeah. <laughs> like who actually works out at Muscle Beach? <laughs> I know. Like who like actually legitimately works out at Muscle Beach? Show offs. Yeah. It's basically just roids, and then they're like, yeah, let's go pump iron at Muscle Beach and Venice Beach. I wonder if, yeah, I'll sell some Rodney Mullen cards in the store. Yeah, we'll find some Rodney Mullen then. The real godfather of skateboarding, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first. The guy from... My name is Earl. Was on Rodney's team. Like oh, Jason Lee. He was also in Almost in. Famous, I think. He's also in Alvin and the Chipmunks remake. Was he really? Yeah. <laughs> what was he? The, like the father or whatever. Oh, Dave. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't see it. Why? How did? Wait. How did that guy end up being the the adoptive father to three chipmunks, three talking really? and singing chipmunks? Like, how does that work? Who thinks of this idea? Like, in the 70s, whenever that show came out, they're like, they're I got ass. it. They're on acid. Three 
talking and singing rock star chipmunks. Christmas theme. Single dad adopted these chipmunks. Like what? What happened there? There's Mike Trout. Alvin. Alvin. <laughs> Theater. You see with the glasses? Oh yeah. <laughs> They're all great. Simon, I think, is in blue, and he's the we'll he's the nerd. Jason Lee guy probably made like ten million dollars. Oh, on the on that Alvin and the Chipmunks, yeah. of course he did. Oh come on, David Price. Come on, mini card. Trevor Bauer. Alvin! I want to pull more. Like now, My Name is Earl show was a good concept, but they never really did. I have no idea what that show was. So, like, at the very, I think the pilot, like, he wins the lottery scratcher. Uh -huh. He wins, like, a million dollars, but then it flies away, like, in the wind. <laughs> okay. So, and then he loses it. So he's out a million dollars. So then he, like, reinvents himself and is trying to give back to like the people he's like bullied and all that over the last oh I see I see years. all right but I don't I don't think it was Britain Boy Gilo you don't you didn't like it <laughs> thanks Rory I don't know yeah he's like the Tom you, Brady you come for the you come for the breaks Rory you stay for the Alvin and Chipmunks talk where we break down Alvin and the Chipmunks you hated Alvin, huh? Alvin, Alvin is kind of a, a diva. He's kind of just like a diva. <laughs> yeah, he's a total, total diva. He's like Brady he's or like something. He's like Bryce Harper. He like went, yeah, kind of like Bryce Harper. He doesn't put up great stats. Yeah, but, he's just but he thinks up. he's like a great rock and roll singer. It's like, <laughs> yeah. come on. And he's the worst. Come on, Alvin. He's probably the, the least talented. Theodore probably produces all the music anyway. And the, and the one with glasses. Whoa, mini plate, unframed. Whoa, Clayton Kershaw. Nice. Oh, maybe it's just a metal card, not yeah, a one of one. one. It's just a metal mini. I think they're like out of 10 or less. All right, there you go. That's very cool. Dodgers. Who's got my Dodgers in this one? Matt Hastings. I think he's that's new guy mojo. A lot of those come from rip cards, too. All right, yeah, good luck. So nice. That's pretty cool. Some people don't know. Yeah, what drugs were consumed when they figured out, hey, three chipmunks, Did you see Elon Musk or three orphan put, chipmunks. Elon Musk wants to put these things in everyone's brains, and you can control smartphones and computers with your thoughts. See, so like you why, start are we, recording why are we giving Elon Musk so much power? Like, let him put stuff in our brains. I almost said the S word. Why am I put stuff in our brains? Yeah. No, I'm not going to let Elon Musk do that. It's, I would do that. It's already bad enough that we have, like, buying a, his Teslas. I would do it in a heartbeat. It's already bad enough we have that. five Jaspi Teslas. Controlling controlling the phone with your thoughts? I'd do it in a heartbeat. You wouldn't? I don't know. Like, uh, my thoughts are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to text people weird <laughs> stuff. Well, it's even worse, like, yeah. Yeah. Drunk texting. Dude. Yeah, oh, drunk testing with your brain? <laughs> Oh, that's game over, dude. They're, they're, Wait, I, I think you have to physically hit send. Be, sure. be me too so fast. Uh, Matt Hastings with the Braves. Ronald Acuna Jr. That is strong. So Hastings with the Metal Kershaw and the Acuna Jr. I don't think that's numbered, but still very nice. I'm surprised Elon Musk doesn't have Ginter cards yet. Elon Musk should have a Ginter card. That'd be actually kind of cool. Trevor, you watched the space station orbit past your house? There's an app that notifies you when the space station flies over? I kind of like that. What happened to... Aren't we sending... Isn't Musk sending someone to the moon? Or to space? What's What happened with that? You know what? What's he doing with that? I don't know. He's done with that? He's Why hasn't anyone else been to the moon? No. We didn't really hear. We didn't really hear hear about tunnel talk. Where what happened to all the Musk tunnels that he was going to build? How many people have been to the moon? Uh, ten. Really? Yeah. I thought it was just... Armstrong and the other guy that everyone forgets. And then, and then the there was like a there's, yeah there's a few more trips after that. What about America? That's it's been all been Americans. Oh really? It's all been us. We own so, the moon. Oh no other country has been. We own the moon. 
<laughs> yeah, our flag's still there. Huh? Flag's still there. That'd be funny to be like. <laughs> there'll be moon wars. So someday there'll be moon wars. A hundred years from now. Yeah, but you can't live on it. It'll just be. It'll be like Wally. The moon is probably going to be a launching station for Mars. Mars, yeah. Yeah, but how do you live on Mars? I don't know. You you you, you can sign up Oxygen to send tank? to send people to Mars. You can sign up and just live there forever. Yeah, you can't come back. It's crazy. I wouldn't go to Mars. I would I would sink with the Earth. You would just sink with the Earth. Yeah. You know what's un you know what's underexplored the bottom of our oceans, like we Where can the oceans in general. yeah we can build things in the bottom of the ocean but no one's looking at that they're all looking space nerds yeah but then the ice freezes above you and you're stuck yeah but you have all the food you need down there oh Jordan says twelve what did I say ten twelve people to be exact there's Aaron Judge square card. Yeah, you have to be a millionaire, multi millionaire for Mars. For Mars, yeah. That's, I mean, un unless you unless you that's win the, be the bad part. Well, no, there's a contest, isn't there? When the Earth ends, it's going to be only rich people surviving. There's a contest where you can go to Mars. Yeah. Like you have to send in like a video, and they they're going to send like a philosopher so and a priest, and like I don't know, it's just some. It's like it, there's going to be a reality show for it. That's crazy. MTV. My life on Mars. <laughs> my life on Mars. My sweet 16 on Mars. Pit my ride on Mars. Pit my Mars my ride. My <laughs> Mars pranksters. Uh-oh. Mars fish. Uh-oh. Oh, what do you what what, what is this that? This is heavy. That feels heavy. You think heavy. that's a metal box loader or a box top rip card? Woo! Right. Yeah, that feels that's Our definitely heavier. Wow. That feels like a rip card. A box hopper rip. I'm putting it over here. I'm saving it for the last card. Yeah. So that that back there, right there, not this. I don't know what it that is. That one. But it's it's just it's heavier. Whatever it is, it's heavier. Oh yeah, the videos should be up for the previous one. Oh, I should publish the recap oh, that's on video. EBay. Oh, you're you're on the wrong channel, Teddy. If you read your item description, Teddy, scroll down a little bit. There'll be the the link to the channel. It's in the same building, but just in a different studio over that way. Um, and the time of the break, which I think it's happening now. Maybe already happened. I think he's doing number one, maybe. I think he's doing it now. The Ooh, sister Mary Joe. Is that part of her habit? They should have had the sister from March Madness last year. Yeah, yeah. Who is she? She's more famous. She's still with us. Yeah. So. Nuns don't die, right? They live forever. Yeah. That's what God says. Yeah. Of course. Maybe a couple miracles. Egg. Maybe if you need three, I think. Three miracles, right? To skip sainthood. Oh, I don't know. I'm out of touch on the sainthood world. Jason is in a, is in a closet. <laughs> Bigger, it's bigger than the space Jason had last, last time. He doesn't have to share it with the accountant anymore. It's all yeah, his. It's, it's his. Jason is already putting eagle stuff up there. There's, yeah. I saw. It's getting decorated. I saw a cowboy sock poster up there. I, th I think I might get a Dodger pennant for this wall right here. Oh, a little triangle. That. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, maybe like one of those ones where it's like. A shared household one, like the UC, <laughs> USC, USC, half UCLA. angels, half Dodgers. Yeah. One. No, you have to be There's like a boxer. Um, what should we call it? Rick Porcello NBA. for Walter and the Red Sox. An unbiased reporter. Like so it'll just be a generic MLB, yeah. kind of. yeah. <laughs> so we don't we offend wear, anybody. We wear MLB hats. Yeah. The, the logo man. It's not a closet. He has the biggest, biggest office as Joe. I mean, my little smaller. Is pretty big. Yeah, yours is the biggest. That's what she said. That's chugging along. That's what we're doing, folks. We're chugging along. We haven't seen the Big Hit Express mini yet. It's in there somewhere.
was like, where did the box hopper go? But oh, yeah, that was the heavy box hopper from that box. All right, so as you can see on the Nick Cam, we have all the boxes ripped open. So we'll knock that out. Coming up after this will be the 8x10 Gold Rush break where you can win spots in our Gold Rush Argonauts break. Then after that, we've got the Jaspies Fanatics jer jersey break, Valiant, then Optic 1, and that brings us to the last hour of the night. There's Ronald Cunha Jr., Jim Bly, no, Matt Hastings with the Braves. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> Matt Hastings with the Braves. Do you rip it or keep it? Rip, rip, rip. Keep, keep, keep. Welcome to America's favorite show, Rip It or Keep It. Do 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 do. That's the Wheel of Fortune theme song. Do 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 do. Promotional consideration by. Do 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 do. Ted Bundy is way different. It's a big difference. A huge difference. Yeah, when the sun's gone, much cooler. Oh, wait, so what was all the cop stuff about? They just had a motorcyclist in handcuffs, and that was yeah. it? Motorcyclist lives matter. I think he's like, he was trying to escape or something. Oh, he was, he was on the lam. I was saying, like, most beach redondo. It was and Oh, it was a, it was a j joint task force. Eight cars. Wow, just for one motorcyclist? I was like, Did he murder someone? There's Francisco Lindor. Oh, they don't have much to do around here. I'm like, what if something happens? They're, they're all over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if, what if something happens on the other side? All right, there's the next one right here. No, I've got the biggest space here, Roy. I've already got my representation on there. It's in my contract. What? Player option in your contract? <laughs> no, the, the, no the, the, the dressing room. The studio, the dressing room. <laughs> the dressing room. We got the hair and makeup girl here under contract. So we brought her along from the old store. It does that when the AC turns on because... Oh, uh, it's it, just it, so it's loud. It. It's so... And just so... The motor for our AC is just so blast powerful. Of cold air. We might turn into jack surfboards and have no AC, so... <laughs> yeah, then we'll get rid of the studio lights, too. Then we can live with no AC. It's in the dark, like, months. We're going to break by candlelight from here on out. There's Dansby Swanson, Matt Hastings, and the Braves. Matt Hastings apparently not in the room because he does not want to play Rip It or Keep It. Yeah, Arthur, when you visit, we'll have the same hair and makeup girl do, do your hair and makeup, too, so you'll be fit for the camera. I think we're on a bigger lag than normal. No, you're probably on a bigger lag than normal. We've got 500 up and down at this place, Rory. 500 up and down. We have come correct with our internet here. The optics on the site is the only ones. Oh, okay. You everyone hear that? And we were, we're definitely not getting more because it's We can't? No. So that six optic is all we have? The seven, six or seven? Seven. Wow. We usually get like 10 plus cases, don't we, of that? They're cutting it. They're cutting it. Less and less. Actually, that's not a bad thing, though. Yeah, it's good. It, it helps the value of the cards go up. Whoa, you got one gig up and down in KC, Gilo? How'd you manage that? Yeah. Dang. You got Google Fiber? Yeah. Google Fiber, I can't believe it's not in LA. It's too I know. To dig, I guess. Is this your water? No. I didn't put mine in, a, in that cup. There's Ken Griffey Jr., Relic, Mariner's Edition going to John Hyanga. Oh, you do have Google Fiber? Woo! That's pretty awesome. Oh, we so we can visit Gilo and do a break there, yeah, do breaks there. Yeah. Gilo, you'll be you'll be one of the first places we go to it's when we good, when we go on the road. There, right? Great barbecue in Kansas City. Excellent barbecue in Kansas City. Is it Kansas City, Kansas, or Kansas City, Missouri? Aren't they the same place? No. Just different sides of the river. Two different states. 
they border each other, I think. But aren't they, isn't, isn't just a river split it? And one side's Missouri and one side's Kansas? Yeah. But kind of weird. I think it's like, yeah, different taxes and stuff. Oh, yeah, probably, huh? Because it's states. Yeah, we we can go we can go on the road. And we, we but we can only go to places where where you guys have like strong internet. Otherwise, we're not going. What's giggle? What's fiber? giggle fiber? <laughs> Ah, I get it. <laughs> There's Sean Doolittle, Jim Bly with the Nats. Oh, it's an actual website. Pops up like adult videos. Dang, Giggle Fiber's got 500 upload. Egg. Wait, can we can we get can we get Giggle Fiber? <laughs> Why are Switch? we why are we paying for for Frontier? Yeah, for Frontier. It's just only in that area, but where I live, like the That's crazy. Like, like, Arthur only has three hundred up and down. That's perfect for watching the, the Jaspies though, Arthur. Oh nice. Logan's new mail route, Target on his stop. He can stop by and grab some boxes. Three hundred up and down is really good. Wait, most Logan, people have like three. Logan, do you ever deliver? Uh, maybe not. They probably have like their own distribution trucks target. Because I was going to say, like, what if you can, uh, you know, be the first one to get the get the boxes, the retail boxes? Yeah, Jason Jaspi can hammer you, Rory. Watch out. There's Horseshoe Falls. There's also we there's also penalty box too. We got five minute penalty boxes. Oh yeah. We might have to send some people to that pretty soon. To the penalty box? Yeah. Man, watch out people. I have no control over that. I'm too nice. But I also don't argue. We have we have five or six people that have the authority to ban. Really? Yeah. Who else has authority to ban? Every employee here. Oh, I see. Even Lynn. Wow. The, she feels like it. The bookkeeper can ban people too? Yeah. It's like, I heard someone being mean, someone saying, F that bookkeeper. <laughs> and then Lynn was just like, that's disrespectful, ban. <laughs> Don't be disrespectful to the bookkeeper, folks. Someone said something mean to Joe. I'm going to ban him. Oh, I mean, if she's looking out for me, I mean, that's, yeah. that's cool. What's the Batman line? There's Jimmy Fallon. No. Oh, Brian Fallon from that one band that I already forgot. The hero Jaspies deserves, but not the hero we need. That's right. Why? <laughs> I swear to God, I don't know. Swear to me. Yeah, but I don't get that movie. The spoilers are out already. Dark Knight? Yeah. Yeah, if you haven't seen it by now, because spoilers. Because he sees Alfred at the cafe. Right. Alfred died. Alfred didn't Alfred die. He died. doesn't die. He says, I'm not going to bury another Batman. And I don't like I won't do it, Master Wayne. Like Iron Man and Batman, who are just superheroes because they're rich. Yeah, that's, that's unfair. That's, that's Batman and Iron Man. That's unfair. Well, they're, and they're, they're the coolest superheroes, too. It's just, I know, the rich just get I richer. Mean, and you know they crush, too. Oh, yeah. Bruce Wayne crushes. Crushes. He's unmarried. He's a single dude. Yeah. Or he's gay. And then just they're, they're just all beards. And Hathaway's just a beard. That's what that's what Robert Pattinson is. He's the first gay Batman. It's 2019. Oh, Gaslight Anthem for that musician, by the way. Nice word. That's what it is. Right. 
Mark Manson piping in, Anna Hathaway can be my beard any day. Oh, I see. Okay. We know, we know we know what Mark Matson likes. She's easy on the eyes. She definitely seems very like like every theater girl I knew in high school. And there's Mike Piazza, Dodgers edition. Mini Relic going to Matt Hastings. New James Bond is going to be a woman? I don't think they've even... They haven't, they haven't finished the latest James Bond yet, let alone figure out who the next one's going to be. They've been saying... They, for decades, they've been like, we get black James Bond, Mexican James Bond, woman James Bond... They always default to just a, the, the, the usual casting archetype. There's Michael Kopech. White Sox mini auto going to Brian Allen. The horse cards will go to the non-baseball spot, which Daniel Patera purchased. Along with the dog cards. R and B, yes. If you emailed us at jazbeescasebreaks at gmail.com, we'll take care of that tonight or late tomorrow. We'll definitely before Elements drops on Friday, of course. Trey Bush says, I feel like you might have just called the new Batman being gay. You give it 80% chance now? The Robert Pattinson casting is interesting, but... I don't know. I mean, you know, 2019, so they... They could make Bruce Wayne into whatever they want him to be. I feel like that's jumping the shark a little bit, but... Wait, I power lift? Yeah, I do. Oh, uh, Rex is asking, uh, how sore are your arms after a night of breaking? Blah, 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 blah. No, the arms... I mean, with these guns, the arms are fine. It's, um... The, the the hands get a little stiff, but I I I am a I have played guitar for a long time, so my hands slash wrists are pretty strong, like a baseball player. <laughs> I've got I've got baseball player wrists. Rory does not like the Robert Pattinson casting for the next Batman, whatever it may be. Is it a standalone Batman or is it some like? Justice League nonsense. I have not watched Jack of All Trades. I need a, you know what I need, Kip? I need a segment on this show called uh, that from like highly questionable. See si or no? And just be like, hey, Joe, here's this show. Would you want to watch this or no? Yes or no? Wait, Ava Mendez is gonna be the new. I don't, I don't know if I buy that. That's right, Logan. He's coming out of the Batcave. New Batman, Robert Pattinson. Oh, it's a standalone Batman? Wait, so it's a, what's the show, Kip? Some dude made a documentary about his investment in 90s junk wax baseball cards? Oh, okay. I got to see that. Hobby related. No, well, Rex, someday you'll visit us and you'll see that my hands are actually we, – we make sure it's – um ergonomically right like the table's at the right height so my hands rest pretty naturally on the table so it's not that bad Robert Panson's girlfriend like real life girlfriend so his beard is the girl from the Pikachu movie I haven't seen that yet I need to see that I think that's on demand she looks like she's like 17 isn't Robert Panson like 30 Trey says, maybe not the first gay Batman, there was Batman Forever. Wait, who did Batman Forever? 
George Clooney. I can do that. <laughs> Roy says Jaspi's edition of See or No would end up like in practical jokes trying to pitch the other person terrible TV show ideas. I'll take. I'll do that too. We'll be like. It'll be like pseudo Shark Tank. Ooh, a Shohei Otani rip card. Angels. Jim Bly. Let's play America's favorite Ginter game. Rip it or keep it. Let us know. <laughs> Rex, you are not Jim Bly of the Angels, with the Angels. You don't get a choice. But Rex votes rip it. Don't let peer pressure get to you, Jim. You do whatever you want to do. If he's even in the room right now. Gilo says rip it. Out of 75 is a rip, says Kip. That's the rule, he says. Rip, says Kip. Don't be swayed by peer pressure, Jim. If you want to keep it, you can. But if you want me to rip it, I can as well. Everyone should dig up the video of the first Ginter break I ever did for Jaspies. Oh, look at this. There's Rodney Mullen. We were talking about him earlier with Rory. That looks like a piece of a skateboard. It looks like a... He's of one of his decks. That's what the kids call it. Kids call it decks anyway. There you go. Pro skateboarder Rodney Mullen. Nice one for the non-baseball spot, Daniel Patera. There's Bonobo. No, Justin Bonomo. <laughs> What's a Bonobo? Poker player. I don't think we've seen any hand at numbered minis in this case. It looks like it's another box without one. Oh, there it is. There's usually at least one. There's Travis uh, Pastrana. Right. I almost said pasta. That's not, that's not it. All right, and the rip, uh, the, well, we think it's a rip card. Yeah, it's a rip. It's a rip. I can tell already. Wow. It's Mookie Betts, Red Sox, Walter Summers. Let's play the game. Oh, where, where does it? It doesn't say rip it or keep it. Oh, there it is. Let's play America's favorite game. Rip it or keep it. Do, 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 do. There's three minis inside. Really? Yeah. There you go. Red Sox, Walter Summers. Angels, Otani rip card, and there's the Cunha Jr. Braves rip card. All three teams have opted not to rip, or they're not in the chat. Um, there you go, folks. A very exciting break in the books. That that That's pretty cool. Uh, it's in the corners. Rip it, keep it. Where's the, oh, it's right here. You can see the little rip tabs right there. But yeah, if you if you look at the first Ginter break that I ever did, and there was a rip card, there's a number right there, 52 at 65. I was so confused on how to rip those. It was very funny. Uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, Pick Your Team number four, recap video coming up next, and then more breaks coming up after this. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye-bye.